Hi, this is Rabbi Andy Corin from Temple Emmanuel in Greensboro, North Carolina. There's that moment in the High Holidays, first off, where we talk about the inscriptions in the Book of Life. But we also know that there's that passage that says, on Rosh Hashanah, it is written on Yom Kippur and sealed, who will live and who will die. And I know that those are moments in our prayers where we have to kind of uh, take a stock of who we are. We know that this is a reality, even though we uh, wish it were otherwise. At least that's the way that we cast it in our spiritual imagination. So on today, the 16th day of the month of Elul, I actually want to read a creative interpretation of that passage. It comes from a colleague, uh, Rabbi Joseph Messler, who's in Sharon, Massachusetts. And with tremendous tribute to him, just like all of the other uh, teachings that I've been sharing, I'd like to read uh, this uh, very beautiful take on that poem that goes like this. On Rosh Hashanah it is written, on Yom Kippur it is sealed, that this year people will live and die, some more gently than others, and nothing lives forever. But amidst overwhelming forces, forces of nature and humankind, we still write our own book of life, and our actions are the words in it, and the stages of our lives are the chapters, and nothing goes unrecorded ever. Every deed counts. Everything you do matters. We never know what act or word will leave an impression or tip the scale. So if not now, then when? For the things that we can change, there is chuba, realignment. For the things that we cannot change, there is tefillah, prayer. For the help that we can give, there is tzedakah, justice. Together, let us write a beautiful book of life for the Holy One to read. I hope you appreciate those words as much as I do. Love to hear your comments, love to hear your thoughts, and again, send best wishes at this time of the year.